and gentlemen, welcome to my new YouTube series, BAD. A show about getting good and also an acronym for becoming a director. First of all, let me say that college wasn't particularly on my radar at the age of 12, 13, 14, the same way it's not on a lot of people's radars at that age. And then when I was 15, I started, I guess, researching the careers of filmmakers that I looked up to a lot. And I also started watching a lot of YouTube videos that were talking about college and talking about how necessary it is for a filmmaker. I kind of got into the mindset then for two years between the ages of 15 and 17 that just college wasn't necessary for me to become a filmmaker when I'm older. Sure, I could go to film school, but again, it's not necessary. There are many other alternatives that I wouldn't even call back doors. I would just call them alternatives. There's so many other options to get into the film industry. I pretty much figured out between the age of 15 and 17 through both my own independent thought and my research on filmmakers and watching YouTube videos. Yeah, I, I don't really want to go to college. It's just not something that I have to do, therefore I won't do it. And let me say that that is not the right way to think about college, but I'll get onto that in a little bit. Then towards the end of being 17, towards the end of my time in secondary school, well, towards the end of my last year in secondary school, I guess, all of a sudden everyone was talking about college because it, it was what was up next for all of my friends in my, in my year group in school. And it's also stuff, I it's something I started talking about a lot with teachers, career guidance counselors. And I was like, oh my God, what, what will I go? I've been telling everyone for two years I'm not going to college. Will I go now? What what on earth am I going to do here? I kind of started panicking. Even my mum was panicking because my mum had fully bought into the idea of me not going to college. And then myself and her were going, will I go? I don't know. Basically, the idea of studying something completely unrelated to prop, like to practical film production, that interested me all of a sudden. Getting an education out of interest, out of novelty, that, 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 properly intrigued me um, at this time of, at this part of my life in secondary school, I guess. And uh, yeah, I started saying I wouldn't mind studying Spanish and film studies or history and philosophy or English and philosophy. Now I probably wouldn't do philosophy, but that, you know, at that time I was like, yeah, sure, why not? What happened next was a shift back to that mindset that I originally had of thinking, eh, okay, college is probably not something I'm gonna do straight out of school. And the thing that got me back into that mindset, the, the, the catalyst for pushing me back into that mindset was a job opportunity from the recyclable fashion competition, Junkature. Now, Junkature is an Irish organization that has recently gone global and I've been working with them basically since I was 15, since uh, 2019, I think it was. Initially, I was just doing some social media videos for them, but then in 2020, I got the chance to make Find Your Space, which was essentially my first commercial, and that was a brilliant experience. And then after that, in 2021, I made what is probably my biggest project to date, which was a documentary called Waking the Muse that was eventually broadcast on national television here in Ireland. Basically, we've been working together for a few years now, and at the beginning of this year, John Couture asked, Sean, do you want to join the team full-time for two years? Pretty much that's the path I'm on now. Over summer, there was another little blip when I was in Los Angeles when everyone was saying to me, Sean, go to college. Like, you know, why rush into the filmmaking world and, and why skip education when education is such a valuable, valuable part of living and when you can afford it? Why, why would you skip that? I had a lot of that when I was in LA, but generally that kind of undercurrent of, okay, these next two years is just about working and earning money and trying to open doors for me and seeing how that goes for two years. That was the undercurrent uh, from the end of secondary school pretty much up until now. However, let me say before, I guess that's, that's, that's taken out of context or, or you just, you know, say Sean didn't go to college, therefore that, that's a good thing to do. Like this situation is so specific to me for two reasons. One, I'm in the weird position that the career I wanna go down really does not require any degree. You're not really gonna be questioned on your college experience when you go into a film set. Uh, you might, you know, it might come up in a discussion, but it's not gonna decide whether or not you get the job in most circumstances. Two, I'm very fortunate that I had opportunities lined up after school. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like they popped out of nowhere, just out of the woodworks. I definitely worked my ass off during secondary school to make those opportunities possible. But still, those opportunities were there for me that for many other people aren't gonna be there whether it's their own fault or not. 
and and in that situation, you know, you might have to consider going to college because you mightn't have anything else to fill your time after secondary school. And it's important to make sure you're not just sitting at home going, believe me, I'm going to be a filmmaker, but you haven't actually got anything, any, anything to show for that. You know what I mean? I'm lucky I had those opportunities after school um, lined up. That, that provided me with, with, with something to properly fill my time, something that I could be disciplined with. Another thing I wanna say is, I, I was thinking about college the wrong way for so many years, and only now am I really starting to understand it. College is about so, so, so much more, so much more than, um, than just education. Like, yeah, sure, it's a big part of it, but college is about life experience as well. And that is something you need as a filmmaker. You can't really write many quality scripts, emotionally resonant scripts, if you're sitting behind a desk your whole life editing. You know what I mean? You can't do that because you're not going to have any life experience to write from. Whereas if you go to college, you are pretty much guaranteed a life experience if you put yourself out there enough. Um, and that's that's a value to college that I've only really begun to understand since finishing secondary school. And that is why to this day, I am still not ruling out college. I'll uh, leave you in peace, but I will be seeing you very soon with an extremely exciting episode of Bad Becoming a Director. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this all in the comments below. I'm very excited to be here back at it on YouTube and pursuing this. Um, and yeah, just happy to be here. Also, if you want, you can check out my Patreon. Thank you so much.